The Young and the Restless Spoilers Daniel is nearing the end of his journey in Genoa City, and yes, it seems that his fate is sealed, he is about to die. Sharon must carry out her plan at any cost, even though her mind has been completely overtaken. She's not herself anymore, and no one seems capable of controlling her. Cameron has taken full control of Sharon's mind, and whatever he commands, she must obey without question. Michael Graziade, who portrays Daniel Romolotti, has only been back on The Young and the Restless for about a year, but his contributions to the storyline have been substantial. Many fans have expressed their desire for him to stay, feeling that his character adds depth and richness to the current arc. Graziade's return was a breath of fresh air for longtime viewers, reigniting a connection with the Romolotti family and providing emotional complexity to the drama between Daniel, Heather, and their rebellious daughter Lucy. Yet, despite the fans' attachment to Daniel, the decisions made by the show's writers often aim to refresh the cast, introducing new faces while sometimes eliminating old ones. It's a delicate balance, revitalizing the show to keep it engaging while maintaining the emotional connection with its established characters. The writer's room must consider what is best for the overall narrative, and unfortunately, that can sometimes mean writing off beloved characters to make way for new developments. But this tactic isn't without its risks. When characters like Daniel are suddenly removed from the canvas, especially in a tragic or unanticipated way, fans can react strongly. The Young and the Restless has a history of stirring controversy with character exits, and there's no better example than the sudden disappearance of Paul Williams, a character that actor Doug Davidson portrayed for decades. Paul's removal from the show was abrupt and mired in behind-the-scenes misunderstandings, leaving both fans and colleagues furious. Davidson had been a fixture on the show, and his exit left many feeling betrayed, as if the heart of Genoa City had been ripped out. Even now, viewers and cast members alike harbor resentment over how Paul's departure was handled. If Daniel dies, a similar backlash could erupt. The audience has grown attached to him again, and to have his life abruptly snuffed out in such a violent and dramatic way could alienate a significant portion of the fanbase. For some, it would be the final straw. Many long-time viewers have already expressed frustration with character turnover, and the loss of Daniel could be seen as a step too far. If fans feel that the show is no longer respecting the legacy of its key characters, they might stop watching altogether. However, Sharon's storyline has taken an incredibly dark turn, with her mental health spiraling out of control under Cameron's influence. Cameron, who is long dead, lives on in Sharon's mind, pushing her to the brink of committing unthinkable acts. Sharon, once a beloved and sympathetic character, has transformed into someone unrecognizable, teetering on the edge of insanity. Her obsession with Daniel, fueled by Cameron's manipulations, has turned her into a dangerous figure, one capable of murder. The audience knows that if Sharon follows through on her plan to kill Daniel, there will be no coming back for her character. But the question remains, will the writers allow Daniel's death to happen, and if so, how will they handle the fallout? Killing Daniel would create an immense emotional impact, not just on Sharon, but also on Heather and Lucy, as well as the broader Genoa City community. It would send shockwaves through the show, permanently altering the dynamics between many of its key players. However, this kind of high-stakes drama, while compelling, runs the risk of pushing the audience away if not done with care. The writers will have to weigh the long-term consequences of such a decision. Killing off Daniel could inject a new layer of tension and grief into the show, but it could also alienate a core segment of the fanbase who have followed his character for years. Fans of The Young and The Restless are known for their loyalty, but they are also fiercely protective of the characters they've invested in for decades. Removing Daniel might feel like a betrayal to them, a sign that the show is no longer interested in honoring its past. On the other hand, there's always the possibility that the writers are setting up a dramatic twist. Perhaps Sharon won't succeed in killing Daniel after all. Maybe the struggle between them will lead to Sharon's own downfall, her final moment of realization that Cameron's influence has driven her to madness. Or perhaps, at the last moment, someone will intervene, saving Daniel's life and forcing Sharon to confront the wreckage she has caused. But if Daniel does die, it will be a devastating blow, not only for his family on the show but also for the viewers.